All right, hello there, welcome back to another wee bit different video. Today's video, gonna go back into NFL Weekly, but like I said in our last Power Rankings NFL Weekly video, I will be doing this like every three, four weeks. I think the last time I did it was week six. For those of you wondering, why doesn't he do his own Power Rankings? Why is he on NFL.com? The whole point of this channel is to have discussions based off of opinions. I wanna be able to look at it, you know, and talk about other people's opinion on it and kind of just give my two cents and maybe you guys will disagree with me or agree with me but the point is we're just going to be having that discussion but now let's get into it okay so we got the eagles first up here and yeah i've said it several freaking times i thought the eagles were along with the niners like the best teams in the nfl uh, i didn't think the chiefs were number one and the eagles to me always seemed complete when it comes to defense offense run game passing game like this team is just insane obviously led by Jalen Hurts AJ Brown has been insane to watch as well having like 120 plus yards for like five straight games or something crazy like that uh Baltimore Ravens at number two I did say this too if you watch my YouTube short uh you know I talked about the Ravens them being really good but also if you watch my uh, NFL weekly on the Ravens I did say my expectation for this team was to make conference championship because I believe that they are that good and so them being ranked number two I think that's where they're supposed to be. We got the Chiefs ranked at number three, and this one's no surprise. The Patrick Mahomes led team followed on by a solid defense this year. You know, Kansas City Chiefs in past have not had a great defense. This defense is putting up legitimately damn near elite numbers, honestly. Like they just held the Dolphins, for example, to 14 points, and they've been doing it all year. At number four is the first time that I'll disagree with the rank jaguars they are ranked fourth but if we take a look at their schedule real quick the best team they put on here was the bills but outside of that every single win has not been against an elite team for example beating the saints steelers colts falcons uh colts again so it's just like this team is really hasn't proven too much because if you look at the bills what are they like five and four or something like that while the Bills are considered elite and dangerous to really any team, that's the only team that they've played where I would say, damn, that's a really good win. Every other one is kind of expected. So Jaguars haven't proven too much yet. I think number four is a bit too high. We'll talk about who I think is higher. Number five, we have the Detroit Lions. Detroit Lions are coming off of a bye, but they look good on both sides of the ball as well. Uh, Jameer Gibbs is absolutely killing it with David Montgomery gone, and he legit looks like a first round running back someone who is worth investing a first rounder in and a lot of people were doubting that after like three or four games and then again when david montgomery gets gone the dude is rolling and this team in general is rolling my biggest question is how far can jared goff take them the dolphins might want to be lower than six or sorry not might want to be they might be lower than six reason being is they have played no good teams on their win columns and all their losses have been against those good teams so it makes you think miami are they frauds every team they've played with a negative record they have beat but every team with a positive record they have lost to so yeah losing to the bills eagles and chiefs just not not a team that can be contenders yet it seems i think the niners are better than the jaguars obviously losing three in a row will make you think otherwise but this team is still capable of a lot. I think Brock Purdy eventually is going to settle down. Debo Samuels comes back. Or sorry, Debo Samuel. Trent Williams comes back. It's going to be a lot easier on the offensive end to create much more opportunities for guys like Ayuk, for guys like McCaffrey. You can really throw in a lot of people into the fold with this team. But you still need Debo and Trent Williams back and healthy. I think 49ers are definitely better than the Jaguars. While I, I understand the ranking number seven, five and three is not indicative of how really good they can be and are. Number eight, we have the Dallas Cowboys. Now I know they lost to the Eagles this past week and it was a crushing game because it was a game where you could really fight for the division. You would be at six and two. The Eagles would be at what, six and two would it be? Would they be tied? So Cowboys could have been at six and two, Eagles could have been at seven and two. It would have been the perfect game to try and gain momentum to claiming the division, but losing to them, it's just rough. And it only shows further, further and further how much behind we are compared to them. It's just, it's a frustrating time to be a Cowboy fan. As good as we can be at times, 
our lows are so low and our highs aren't high enough to be contenders like the Eagles. I think the Bengals are also better than the Jaguars. I think Joe Burrow getting healthy is like the best thing that could have happened for this team and for the NFL period because now they're so much more exciting to watch. I mean, you see this guy slinging it, the most beautiful spirals in tight spaces as well, whether it's getting it to Jamar or getting it to T. Higgins, because T. Higgins also had a really good game against the Bills. This dude legitimately looks like a receiver one. And if the Bengals don't keep him, it's not going to be a surprise because they just don't have the money. But T. Higgins is about to get paid otherwise, and in all honesty, because he is just really, really good. And their offense is striving right now. I know they only scored 24 against Buffalo, but that's honestly all they needed because their defense stepped up in a big way. Cleveland Browns are 5-3, and three, but they would be honestly Niner level good, Philadelphia Eagle level good if they have a competent quarterback. And if they even had Nick Chubb. Nick Chubb is obviously really good, but they lost him early in the season uh, for the whole season. But their quarterback situation, whether it's Deshaun Watson, PJ Walker, or the rookie that started one game, like it was, it was and is just bad honestly it's really disappointing to see how bad their quarterback situation has gotten and deshaun watson's definitely not worth that much money on morals for one but even on play for two okay so after the top 10 honestly everything seems to be fine i think i'm cool with all these rankings except the jaguars being at like number four or something but for the most of it it's pretty solid right just going through it very briefly um yeah i would say Bengals are higher than the cowboys as well and I think Bengals and Niners are also better than the Jaguars. I like Lions at five, maybe six. Dolphins probably at eight or nine. I think the Dolphins need to prove something, prove that they can beat an elite team. But anyway, talking about the Bills again at number 11, that suits them just fine. They've been struggling. They either show up and absolutely dominate or they really struggle and they're not the best selves. I would say for them, it's just about consistency. As I said, when I said it, the Seahawks being uh, number seven in the week around week six on this list was way too high and now they've dropped to 12. I would say this one suits them a lot more but they just got obliterated by the Ravens like absolutely obliterated it was not even close now they're tied with the division with the Niners uh, I don't think they've played them yet so they should be tied unless you count a tiebreaker in their division games itself but I don't believe they played each other yet all in all though the Seahawks being five and three I don't think it's too surprising but I don't expect this team to make the biggest run in the playoffs. I think at the most they could only win one wild card game. New Orleans Saints at number 13 is really freaking generous. I think this team is honestly disappointing. Uh, they're making games closer than they need to be and they're not destroying teams the way that they need to be. And their offense is falling flat and their defense is falling flat in big scenarios. I don't understand the rank 13 here. I think they can be a good team, but I just think that they've been disappointing to be honest i mean making it a close game against the bears is nothing to brag about it was really bad pittsburgh seal is at five and three you know one way or another this team finds a way to win i've been preaching about mike tomlin for a very 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 long time now as a head coach he makes you want to run through a wall for him he is gonna make it bring the best out of his players honestly whatever the players have to offer he's gonna bring the best out of them now i know george pickens is causing some drama you know disassociating himself with the team but the reality is y'all are five and three and your quarterback is not a five and three quarterback. Your quarterback is like a two and whatever, you know, two and six quarterback or one and seven quarterback. You don't have a solid quarterback yet. You're still finding a way. Deontay Johnson had a good return and he's been solid since. It's just George Pickens, bro. You got to be happy with winning. And I understand that your contract depends on your play. But everyone knows you're a beast, bro. It's one bad game. So Houston Texans being 15. Uh, I have to look at the rest of this to see if it's too high or not. But honestly, CJ Stroud is just insane. Absolutely just taking over for this franchise. Showing that not only was he worth the second pick in the draft. He honestly probably should have gone one with his play and seen how good he is. Like the Texans definitely have a really good one in their hands. Let's see what they can surround him with. But they have a very promising future because, again, C.J. Stroud is just crazy good. Chargers at 16. The thing is, I think the Chargers are better than the Texans. Um, who was at 14 again? The Saints? Or no, the Steelers. I think the Chargers are better than the, the Saints. To be honest with you, I think their offense is better. I think their defense has 
stepped up in the past two, three weeks. They've looked so much better. I don't really understand why this team is 16. Uh, I know that they have trouble with keeping themselves afloat and not shooting themselves in the foot. But it's, they're just too talented of a team to be 16. Minnesota Vikings at 17. Honestly, that seems about right with Joshua Dobbs now taking over the quarterback position with Kirk Cousins out. The expectations for this team have really, really plummeted. And Justin Jefferson isn't back yet. He was activated from the 21-day window or whatever. But he's not back on the roster officially yet. So he might miss another couple games or not entirely sure when he's going to come back. But still... They need him now more than ever, and hopefully Do Joshua Dobbs can, you know, feed him the ball like Kirk Cousins did. But even then, Justin Jefferson's too talented of a player, too skilled of a player to not get involved. And Jordan Addison's only going to help out because he's been really good. New York Jets might be the most frustrating team in the world to watch. They have an, they have an amazing defense, and then they have... Zach Wilson leading the way on offense, which is absolutely killing everything. He's holding on to the ball for way too long. The offensive line isn't creating any holes in the run game. Zach Wilson himself isn't a very accurate quarterback making the best reads. And it's like they're wasting the talent of Brees Hall, Garrett Wilson, and again, that entire defense. So very frustrating team to watch. If you watch the Manning cast on Monday Night Football, they were pretty much just like disgusted of the Jets offense and I think anyone watching that game would be including me cold sitting at four and five at 19 honestly I don't have an issue with it but I want to know who's at 20 okay yo to be honest I think the Falcons are better than the Colts I think their defense is a lot more promising and their offense has more talent yeah I know you have Jonathan Taylor uh for the Colts Michael Pittman Jr but if Arthur Smith could just unleash Bijan <laughs> This team can be so much better. Getting the ball to drink London more, getting the ball to Kyle Pitts more, just utilizing the talent that they have. And it's it's not enough for Bijan to only get like 10 carries a game, dude. The dude needs 20 plus touches. You know what I mean? Whether it's out of the backfield in terms of receptions or whether he's running out on the outside off, off a carry. So get that guy more touches. This defense needs their offense to stay on the field longer. Let them rest because they're honestly holding teams when it comes to points been struggling the past two weeks but i think they have to face a lot of pressure when their offense just isn't doing anything or at least not enough tampa bay buccaneers absolutely got shredded against the texans seeing them at rank 21 is no surprise i mean that division though is wide open they can still come back and you know do something because it's the saints and the falcons sitting at four and four so buccaneers it's not over yet dude y'all still got time uh tie-in starting will levis officially over Ryan Tannehill, even though he is ready to go. I think that's a smart move just to see what he can do. Uh, you already know what you're getting out of Ryan Tannehill, and that's just not a good quarterback. He might be acceptable uh, on a great team, but this isn't a great team. I say you just got to roll and see what you have with Will Levis and see the potential in that kid. Green Bay Packers at 23. You know, I've shat on this team a lot because I've said that they're not good, uh, and I don't believe in Jordan Love at all like at all I, I just think their offense is too stagnant but with that being said they just did beat the Rams with their backup quarterback so kudos Broncos sitting at 24 uh nothing too surprising here I think the Broncos are an okay team at best they did beat the Chiefs but Patrick Mahomes had his flu game not a really not a really hot topic with these ones after the Raiders finally fired Josh Daniels they moved to four and five ranked 25 uh, yeah, I don't know about the Raiders, man. Their quarterback situation is messed up. Everything about them really just feels disappointing and flawed. Commanders sitting at four and five, and I don't know why, but they really believe in Sam Howell. Like there was this report saying that they believe him as they believe in him as a franchise quarterback. I don't know, man. He holds on to the ball for way too long. Takes a lot of sacks. I know you can say, oh, the offensive line is bad, but sometimes you, you just got to throw it. There's got to be a clock in your head saying, all right, now, go, now, go. This team in general, man, just feels disappointing. I feel like they had higher expectations than this. I mean, I know they're still four and five, but if you even watch them, you're just like, what the fuck is going on? And Ron Rivera needs to go, man. It's just time. The Rams, surprisingly to me, are three and six. I think they struggled more than I thought they would to be honest i felt like their team was a little bit better than that bears at 28 is generous let me see who's 29 the patriots 
Uh, 30 is the Giants. I want to say the Giants. Uh, you know what? No. I don't know if the Giants are better than the... Ah, dude, you know what? I think the Giants are better than the Bears, man. Because the Bears don't have a great offense, but the Giants have a better defense. Honestly, I feel like if the Bears and Giants played, the Giants would win. I mean, I know at this point, it's really just formalities. Like, you have to have someone rank 28 and someone rank 30. But I would say the Giants are better than the Bears. Uh, Patriots, I would say, are better than the Bears. Let's use 31. Okay, Panthers. Who is the worst team? The Cardinals? Nah, I think the I think the Cardinals are better than the Panthers with Kyler Murray back. I think it's a huge tank season right now for the Cards, but I think if these teams played each other, Bryce Young's just not that guy. And with Kyler Murray back, I don't expect him to obviously flip the script and take this team to the playoffs because they're freaking one and eight. But I do expect him to show that he's still that guy and still a capable quarterback and borderline elite as well honestly not a bad list though right even from an objectively speaking standpoint i can't really disagree with a lot of the stuff but i will say the jets i think will be better than the vikings uh chargers are better than who was that chargers are better than the texans steelers and saints i don't i'm not a believer in the saints saints are sitting at five and four not four and four by the way uh seattle at 12. Mm. I honestly would take the Chargers over Seattle as well. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be blunt, man. I think the Chargers are just too talented. Now in the end, they always shoot themselves in the foot. But I would still rather have the Chargers and the, the Seahawks on, let's say, a wager. Uh, the Bengals deserve to be higher at this point. They have just been too good, winning four in a row, and just beating the Bills, by the way, too. I think the Bengals are better than the Cowboys. I don't know if they're better than the Niners, but that that to me is like super close. I think the Niners and the Bengals are both better than the Dolphins and the Lions. Honestly, I, I really am a believer. But yeah, Jacksonville as well. I think the Bengals and Niners are better than. I think that we're going to have to see a prove it game from Jacksonville and beating a team that is really good. And funny enough, they're going to play the Niners this week. So it's going to be a true test for Jacksonville. But I got my money on the Niners, to be honest with you. Chiefs ending up at three, Ravens at two, Eagles at one. All of that seems honestly kind of clear and obvious to me. Those teams are definitely top five teams. I do think the Eagles right now are the best team in football. They are just on a whole nother level. I think the tush push makes them from great to even greater because they have like a guaranteed first down on any third and short or fourth and short. It's crazy. But anyway, I appreciate you guys for watching. Let me know what you think of the rankings down below. Let me know what you think of my thoughts, if you agree or disagree. But as always, I appreciate you guys for watching. This is All Even Different. All Even Different. And we out.